I want to start out by saying that I love Ruby. Just so you're clear where I'm coming from. Ruby has been one of my favorite series for years now, and I've followed it ever since Volume 2 began. So this isn't coming from a place of a Ruby hater or someone who's looking for something to criticize just cause. But despite how much I love it, I've got to admit, Ruby is starting to have a real problem. Now of course, Ruby's animation, fight choreography, and general look remain as flashy and impressive as ever. But great visuals do not a great series make, and not even a great combat scene. And that's where I'm finding the real meat of my problems with this new season. Sure, the action is nice and all, but the thing is that action only has real value and real power in a series when it has one of three things, and that is emotional weight, plot relevance, or feels like it poses a real threat to the cast, specifically characters we care about. To give you some examples, the fight with the apathy posed a real threat and had relevance to the season's core themes. The fight against the Grimm that killed Ren's father had, obviously, emotional weight to it, and the fight between Raven and Cinder had plot relevance. The battle of Beacon and the fight with Cinder over the Relic in the end of Volume 5 had all three, which is why they remain the best fight scenes in the show. The fight with the Grimm at the end of Volume 6, and even more so, the Aesop's fight with the Grimm had, well, none of the above. It has no real emotional weight to it. I mean, it was just a grim in either case, not one that was incredibly threatening to a beloved character or had done something traumatizing or had anything special about it that was giving it some serious threat level upgrades like the em apathy did. It didn't have any real plot relevance, unlike the fight at the end of Volume 2. Here's the big difference between the ends of Volume 2 and Volume 6. Sure, both ended with a grim fight, and in both cases the grim were threatening the populace. But in Volume 2, the Grimm fight just didn't come out of nowhere. Even if the main characters weren't expecting it, the fact was that Tortric was planning something for the entire season, and the entire core plot of the season was the main four trying to figure out what the hell Tortric was up to and stopping him. So the fact that the Grimm fight was stopping him played directly into that core theme of the season. Additionally, the Grimm were overwhelmingly powerful, and specifically overwhelming civilians. This was not a grim in the distance of civilians, but rather grim in the middle of a town of unarmed people, thus posing a real intangible threat. In contrast, the grim at the end of Volume 6 just sort of came out of nowhere. It was a leviathan, it was big, and it had no reason to be there except that the writers realized that, oh wait, Volume 6 needs a climax fight. At least that fight did have some purpose in the story, as it was a contrived way for Ruby to learn how to use her eyes, and I admit that the moment when she said, I'm a huntress, I'm here to help, was pretty badass, and her thinking of calling Jin as a way of slowing down time and giving her that extra few moments was clever, both of which I liked and made up somewhat for the fact that the fight itself was completely contrived and felt it. But then there's the fight with the Aesops. It doesn't even have that stuff going for it. No emotional weight, no high stakes, and was barely on the edge of plot relevant. So far from the center plot, in fact, that even though it technically had a justified reason, it didn't feel like it. It's just not good enough to have technically good action. The writers need to remember that what makes action good is the way a fight scene carries in terms of its impact on the show. The writers are trying to do again what season 3 did, which is mostly peaceful, happy stuff for the main cast while we see the villains setting up something in the background to build tension. But the problem with that is twofold. First, Volume 3 actually had a plot, the Vital Festival, which had been built up for the entire series thus far, for the audience to care about and focus on while the villains did their thing in the background. We didn't feel like we were just kicking our heels and waiting around for the villains to do something because we had an A plot to center on. While Volume 7 doesn't have a real main plot, except waiting for the villains to do something and make their move. So, all I want from this season so rather than enjoying these episodes, all I'm wanting from this season is to get the hell on with it. And second, Volume 3 already happened. It changed everything. The status quo was completely destroyed. The stakes are a lot higher now. Most importantly, the main characters know what's going on. They know about Salem, they know about Cinder, they know about all of it. They know they're attacking the towers and that they're going to head for Atlas at some point very, very soon. So they can't just go back to the way they were. Narratively, progressively, for character development, it just doesn't make sense. And Seeing them standing in the stadium where Penny died, where Yang was falsely accused, and where Kira fought one of her last battles, 
without literally anyone acknowledging even for a beat that this place might have a lot of traumatic and dark connotations for the main cast really exemplifies the problem with the writing right now. Now keep in mind, I don't necessarily mind them taking a slow burn approach to the show. I don't mind them taking a few steps back now that the characters are in safety, to let them cool off, relax, and just be themselves and have fun for a little while. But this isn't a slow burn show because it's only 12 episodes a season and the episodes are only 17 or 18 minutes long, including a minute and a half opening, plus like 30 seconds of ending. There is just so little time in the show that they cannot afford to waste episode after episode. We are one third of the way into the season and literally nothing has happened. Okay, we found out that Penny was still alive and honestly I felt that was really rushed and they did it entirely because they needed to get her in before the new OP played. And we had that conversation with Ironwood and then there was that pretty cool scene with Weiss's father this episode. Other than the 30 seconds of villain screen time at the end of each episode, very little is going on and what's happened so far could easily have been condensed down into two or three episodes. And when you're running a show as short as Ruby in terms of both episode length and season length, you need every minute you can get and shouldn't be wasting it on stuff that doesn't matter, like an entire scene for the Aesops. I don't get it. I get establishing them, I get that they work for Ironwood, but I don't understand why they're focusing on them so much. Are we supposed to relate and connect to them? I, I don't think we know them well enough for that, and I don't think we ever will. Are they just being set up so that they can fail or be helpful or something? That's fine, but they don't need a full episode to establish that. We already saw them take out Team Ruby in about 30 seconds. That alone was enough to establish their power. We didn't need an entire new episode for that. And as for the Grimm fight, well, we're facing the basic problem that Grimm aren't a threat. From day one, regular Grimm has been set up as something that, while threatening to the average civilian, is something that any of the main four can take easily. And I do literally mean day one, just go back and look at the red trailer, or if you don't want to look at the trailers, look at the battle in the forest at the beginning of season one with Yang and Ruby and Weiss all taking out those Grimm just super casually. And that was way, way back when they hadn't been trained at all yet. At this point, the only reason a Grimm fight would carry any weight is if the Grimm are being controlled by an antagonist who can think and plan and scheme. Antagonists like Torchwick in Volume 2, or freaking Cinder in Volume 3, or of course Salem in every volume since has the potential to do. Seasons 1 through 5 of Ruby were amazing, each season getting better than the next, but I spent most of Season 6, with the exception of that one phenomenal episode that explained everything, waiting for something to happen. And season 7 is pretty much going the same way. I love Ruby. And I'll continue watching it and continue loving it, but that doesn't change the fact that the writers better step up their game real fast because Ruby is starting to have a problem.